Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use OKX Wallet tutorial for beginners. But before we start, use the link in the description to register a new account and get a mystery box with up to $10,000 worth of crypto inside. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you start using OKX Wallet here? Well, the first thing you need to do here is you need to install the OKX mobile app. In this case, let's go ahead and open up OKX here since we already have it installed. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now from here in the OKX app, what we need to do is we need to switch over to the wallet. So in this case, at the very top here, we have exchange and we also have wallet. Let's go ahead and choose wallet. Now since uh, we are pretty new in the wallet section here, what we need to do is we first need to create our wallet. In this case, creating your wallet is pretty easy. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on create wallet. Now from here, we'll be using a seed phrase, but if you have a hard wallet, you could also use that. So you need to connect your hard wallet via Bluetooth or QR code for you to create one. But in this case, I'm going to use a seed phrase here. Let's go ahead and click on create wallet. And from here, it's going to say, okay, wallet wants to use fingerprint recognition. So in this case, if you want to use that, just click on enable. And from here, just verify your fingerprint. Now from here, it's going to load your wallet which in this case, it should actually enable you to create your wallet, which is something pretty easy here. As you can see, we were able to rapidly create our account. Now, if you want to create another account or another wallet for your account, you can go ahead and click on the account at the top section here. And from here, you have the option to create a new account. In this case, just click on the add wallet at the very bottom of your screen. And again, choose the create wallet option. But if you have an existing wallet, you could either import a wallet, use a hardware wallet, or in this case, a watch only wallet, which in this case, you'll be able to only observe and track the assets on that specific wallet. In this case, let's go ahead and click on create wallet here. And from here, you should be able to see next screen, which in this case, we'll be able to create a mother wallet. Let's go ahead and click on account again. As you can see, we now have two wallets. We have account A, or we have wallet A and wallet B. In this case, if you want to use wallet B or wallet A, go ahead and just click on it and you should be able to start using it. Now, by the way, if you want to back up your wallet, just click on back up now and choose the option you want to back up your wallet. In this case, you will be able to save your seed phrase on a specific location. In this case, either Google Drive. So it will save a text file in Google Drive. Or if you want to write it down or your seed phrase, uh, you'll be able to write it down by uh, basically viewing it in your mobile phone. So if you're not aware yet, seed phrases is a way for you to recover your wallet just in case you lose access on or on your device here and don't remember your credentials. In this case, do not share your seed phrase here. It's something really, really important. Do not make that mistake. But in this case, if you want to view your uh, uh, seed phrase, just click on the buy your writing down option. Or if you want to save it online, choose the to Google Drive. Now, in this case, what are the things that we could do here in OKX Wallet? Now, in the wallet, the first thing you'll notice here is you're going to be in the home page. Now, the home page here would contain the general information or general details or articles regarding OKX here. So you should be able to see your wallet here, the networks that are supported here on OKX wallet, as well as about Web3, top collections, and a lot more. In this case, basically, this is going to be your home page from the name itself. In this case, uh, it would, again, contain general information, so you won't be able to do much here. But the great thing about the OKX wallet here, you also have the Trade, Marketplace, DeFi, and Discover. Now, in this case, if you choose the option for Discover, you'll be able to basically discover new things in the OKX platform. So you have events. So if you want to join certain events for OKX, we also have uh, different events from uh, different uh, types of crypto, like Solana Hacker House here. They actually give out prizes or uh, free uh, crypto out there if you join a specific uh, type of event. So if you want to join that, you could go ahead and do that and support that specific crypto or support OKX. You also have Cryptopedia here, which in this case, you'll be able to uh, basically learn or explore the apps on various blockchains and works and basically start earning rewards. Now, in this case, you have a different, uh, again, different crypto here that you could basically earn rewards from. Like, for example, over protocol here, we also have the reward center here if you want to uh, view the event bonus right now. So in this case, we have Apto, CCTP, SPL20, or Solana. So in this case, uh, if you want to view it, you should be able to see all uh, the uh, events I have. So in this case, it's going to be uh, the all our events. We have the one events here. And Unlucky is from the name of Unlucky. You didn't win anything from the event itself. 
Now, if you want to view your NFT rewards, this is where you'll be able to see it. If you want to change a wallet, just click on the top right here and you'll be able to basically change to a different wallet and view your rewards there. In this case, you also have the option to view the apps here, which in this case, it's going to give you the trending, uh, the apps, a lot of ecosystem here, restaking zone, blast ecosystem, layer two exploration, and a lot more. Now, each of the categories here do a specific thing here, but for now, let's explore the other options that we have right now. Now we also have DeFi here, which in this case is only supported on certain countries. So if your country does not support DeFi products, then unfortunately you won't be able to access it. In this case for now, let's go and visit the other option as well. We also have Marketplace here, which in this case from the itself is going to be Marketplace. This is where you buy uh, crypto or BC sell crypto. In this case, we have NFT. In this case, NFTs are virtual artworks or from me so is nft that for example we just go ahead and open up pudgy penguins here but in this case you should be able to see different details about the specific um nft like pudgy penguins in this case you should be able to see the items that is currently in uh pudgy penguins you have analytics and activity on it so if you want to view analytics activity you should be able to do that in this case activity here so if there are certain say a uh, sale or if someone actually uh sold something or uh basically bought something this is where you'll be you'll be able to see it now for items, if you want to buy NFT, go ahead and click on that specific NFT there. And from here, you have the option to add this to your cart or just start buying it. In this case, if you want to buy it, just click on buy. And from here, what we need to do is choose your wallet or how you want to pay it. And from then on, if you have enough funds, you can go and click on confirm and buy this crypto and from our uh, NFT and basically confirm the transaction itself. Now, if you want to make an uh, offer on a specific uh, NFT, you can go ahead and click on make offer here and state your own price and see if that uh, seller or the owner of that NFT actually accepts your offer here. But for now, let's go ahead and go back. Now, in this case, what are the other things that we could also access here? We also have inscriptions. So in this case, we have inscriptions, we have runes, we also have drops and uh, BC crypto. Now, if you want to uh, sell or buy crypto on specific uh, coins or uh, crypto, uh, basic coins here, you have ACA, we have the option to sell on BNB. So for example, if you want to sell BNB, just click on the sell on it. And from here, you'll be able to uh, basically sell BNB on a specific user. So how much do you want to buy here? So they actually, uh, they are actually, uh, or they actually need it around uh, basically uh, 20,000. Uh, BNB. So if you have that, you could basically sell it to the specific user here using your wallet at the pay with section. Now, in this case, uh, we also have trade here. So trade allows you to, again, from the itself, trade crypto. Now, in this case, you have the option to swap or see the market. So for example, maybe I want to open up USDB here. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now, you should be able to see different information about it. Like, for example, the graph. So how it's actually uh, currently moving. Is it in the uptrend or the downtrend uh, section? We have the overview as well. So overview information about it. You have assessments. And in this case, yeah, it is low risk because USDB is a type of staple coin. So most likely it is going to be low risk. Now in this case, chart here enables you to view what is the current setting right now for USDB or for that crypto. Now, if you want to change time, just click on the last R last four hours or the last day or the whole day how it actually went if you want to view more just click on more here and choose your own intervals or your preferred intervals now in this case you could go ahead and scroll up here and choose the uh, view the liquidity transaction history total liquidity if you want to start swapping just click on swap and from here you have the option to swap a specific coin to the specific uh, usdb or crypto that you've chosen since we so uh, actually also uh, uh, click on the sell option. Now in this case, you have swap, bridge, and limit order here. So swap from yourself, you will be uh, you'll be swapping a specific uh, crypto or coin to another coin. So you'll be converting your coin into another one. You also have bridge here. So in this case, this is quite advanced here. So we'll, 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 we won't be able to tackle that. So in this case, we also have limit order, which is the most basic one here, which in this case is going to place an order on a specific price. Uh, for example, if you're uh, if you want to uh, be swap wet on a specific price, uh, you should be able to uh, basically uh, set 
that price. And once you it actually reached that, it will actually convert your width into the selected coin that you have, like for example, USDC. So you'll be converting uh, width into USDC on a specific price. So that's how it's going to actually, uh, actually place or it's how it's going to actually work. But yeah, so those are the basics here in OKX Wallet, and that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you. Like and subscribe to Tony's Outies, and watch our next video.